Wagwan, Wagwan, Wagwan. It's your boy Big Truck at the King's Table. Ah, man, man, man. What man I say? I rain the pours. When I say rain the pours. But we're going to dive into this thing. Shout out to Miss Pink Book Lessons um, for her thesis on this, her take on this. This Olympics have been very disturbing, disrespectful, distasteful. And there's a lot of questions. Uh, it's leaving a lot of questions in people's minds. Um, everything from the... change the rule and then not say so you're asking all the athletes who for whatever reason don't stay in the village them can't come through the gate we came through this gate yesterday and went through security and was okay the man said we can't go we're over all the way up where everybody else are able to come back down yesterday. first alien couldn't go olympics then sharika for withdraw for the hundred and now shelly a withdraw from the semi-finals, brother, in our last Olympics. Oh, I'm stressed out, dog. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed No, I'm not stressed. You know, I'm not bumble clad, you know. It's, uh, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not miscellaneous shit going on. I'm not miscellaneous shit going on. I'm not fuckery, you know. It's, 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 it's some fuckery going on here. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? I'm not feeling Paris right now. Yes, I have a bone to pick with the Paris France Olympics. Now, I gotta give a shout out to the gymnastics team, USA, and Simone Biles, the most decorated gymnast in history. She's picked up four medals this year, three gold, one silver, leaving Paris with her 11th Olympic medal. Much, much love and respect to Simone Biles and her husband, Jonathan Owens. You know, I'm so proud of her and I'm so happy for her. And I mean, and for all those haters out there, fuck y'all. Fuck each and every hater out there. So what? She put her medal around her husband's neck and he wore it. So what? That's her husband. Y'all don't have no husband. Y'all don't have no man. So y'all don't have the right to say shit. So yeah, much love to Simone. And I can't forget about Noah Laos. He's bringing the gold medal back to the USA. So yeah, I definitely love all of that. But Paris started off the wrong way for me. There's still a level of irritation lingering after the opening ceremony. Out of all the entertainment options in the whole world, they decided to pick a group of drag queens and a kid to put on a full-blown drag show. There was one scene that really ticked off the Christian community. Blasphemy. This is blasphemy. You know, just disrespected the Christian community. I believe they were mocked with these folks using drag queens all lined up along one side of a long table with one in a crown posing in the center, looking very much like the Last Supper. The Olympic opening ceremony is extremely disturbing and demonic. Here's why. The theme of the event is very symbolic and strange. Firstly, there was a recreation of the Last Supper using these people who dress extremely... I want y'all to pay attention to this. Pay attention very closely to what he says. Provocative. This is very disrespectful to Jesus Christ and Christianity. The Olympic received so much backflash for this that they have to take the video down. Not only that, a bullhead was being displayed on the stage. And for those of you who don't know, in the Bible, it represents devil worshipping. Also, near the Eiffel Tower, they show two people riding a white horse and a pale horse. You may think this is normal, but it's not. Because according to the book of Revelation, the white horse represents the Antichrist, while the pale horse represents war, famine, and Death. Ceremony, the Olympics removed the video. That's how bad it was. Then in American media, you had these wicked feminists on the view trying to convince people that what they saw wasn't what they saw. Come on, y'all. It's the Olympics. What's happening is a large number of men and women are waking up. They're wakening up and they're calling that thing out. Cat Williams said, in 2024, all lies will be exposed. 
your boy Big Truck told you certain individuals gonna be exposed for the shit that they do and say. Stop! They're not trying to do anything except talk about the, the history. They're showing you the history. There are more too many people in the picture for it to be the 12 disciples and then the seven. You need to shut your old ass up, Whoopi. Much, I got respect for you, Whoopi, but your love life ain't too bright. Your household is not all the way together. <laughs> you got some slips, falls, and curves in your personal life as well. So be careful of what your mouth say. Whoopi, respectfully. Or eight other people who are in the picture. <laughs> well, and this also, is more people. When, the, when you're criticizing religion and people were offended, the director said it wasn't what he intended, and he also said the mission was inclusion. Intention matters. He came out and said, that wasn't what I intended. I'm sorry if that's what offended you, and this is what I was trying to do. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? You have the controversy with the women's boxing competition where two people who reportedly failed a gender DNA test last year were allowed to compete against women this year. For the most part, folks believe that those two are biological men. One competition was so bad, an Italian female boxer had to bow out in 46 seconds. She was crying and upset because she had never been hit so hard before ever in life. We always hear about equality, but the truth is, a woman is not stronger than a man. And the feminist idea that women can compete against men is just out of order. In this situation here, it's very controversial. And I'm going to dive more deep because I'm a person I like to do. I like to do my research before I speak on things. When it comes to sporting events, men should be in men's sporting events. Women should be in women's sporting events. Very upsetting moment for Shelly Ann Fraser Price, the living track and field legend of Jamaica. Shelly Ann is definitely in my personal top five of all time. I've been waiting all year to see her and Shakira Richardson perform in the finals. Shelly Ann, 37 years old, which is very seasoned in this sport. Most of her competitors are in their 20s. And everybody already knew this will be her final Olympics. What we're observing is some very controversial um, shit. I call it bullshit. You know, I call it you, you, you target certain people for certain things, for certain reasons. she made her first appearance back in 2008 that was 16 years ago this was going to be her fifth appearance a certified track star certified legend so it was very upsetting for her fans when it was revealed that she and Sharika Jackson pulled out of the Olympic Games Sharika was still feeling discomfort from an injury she sustained last month there was no real reason for Shelly Ann's disappearance from the games when she was right there before the 100 meter semifinals Rumors started floating around that she was possibly injured and other sources said she was late to the stadium. Then this video right here made its way to social media. She said they changed the rule yesterday. They wanted to change the rule and then not say. So you're asking all the athletes who, for whatever reason, don't stay in the village, them can't come through the gate. We came through this gate yesterday and went through security and was okay. What do you mean, you people? Huh? But to have Shelly Ann Frazier and Sharika Jackson pull out, something is definitely wrong. Bumba Clod. The man said we can't go in the way over all the way up where everybody else are in because we come back down here, sir. That was Shelly Ann. She was denied access. And this right here is Shakira Richardson. They wouldn't let her in either. Yeah, I'm actually in the front of the studio. I can go back to the 
where the, 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 the problem is fixed. So yeah. I, I hope yeah. they're going to be fixed. They'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. So we are stuck in the bus. Thank you as well. Wow. Yeah. So they let people out, but they won't let you in. So I'm going to ask them to record how long the walk is. These are professionals. They know how to show up on time. So this wasn't just about time. Some believe it was even sabotage. We found out that both Shelly Ann Jamaica and Shakari Richardson USA were denied entry at the same gate. They had to walk an hour to another gate. Now, this wasn't their first time going through this gate. The day before, they had no problem. But on the day of this event, they were both denied entry. Here's the real reason that Shelly pulled out the race and Shakari, Shakari, my bad, um, got second, which is still amazing. She still got an Olympic medal. She, that's better than m probably everybody watching this. So rules were changed. These two athletes decided not to stay in the Olympic Village. And the rule was changed that you have to come to warm-ups or come to the gate at, excuse me, come to the gate on a team bus. Now, as an athlete and coach, I've experienced this in real life. And literally, I had the same exact altercation happen to us. The issue is because they did not stay in the Olympic Village, they did not come on the team bus. They came individually. So because they did not come on the team bus and because they could not get into that gate, they literally had to walk an hour to the front gate and damn near miss warm-ups before they race. That took away their time. So therefore, hell yeah, some going to say the shit was sabotage. The shit was rigged. These are the notions that come up for them to be denied access when all the time long they were going through that same gate. What changed? Uh, video surfacing, Shelly Ann Frazier Price, this is her last Olympics, she let it be known, this is my last Olympics, that I guess what's transpiring, Justin, if you don't ride the team bus, your uh, people are having issues getting in. And it seems like Shakari had that issue and Shelly Ann Frazier Price had the issue getting to the warm up area. Uh, and I guess when she got there late, she ended up tweaking a hamstring. I'm not really sure. Um, you're mm -hmm. in Paris, Justin. What have you heard was the run of the, re the reason or one of the reasons why Shelly Ann pulled out of this race, knowing it's her last her last Olympics? Well, first of all, it started off that she had hamstring issues and then it started off that she wasn't let mm. into the warm period. Now hearing that it's a uh, she had to ride the bus to be able to get into the into the warm up area. To me, bro, it's mm. just it's just ludicrous. First of all, in our sport, when you are a star, you come in with a private car because you dialed in, you focused. Right. To get on that bus, sometimes that bus gets overpacked. There ain't no seats left. You got to sit on the floor. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Just to get to to ride for 20, 30 minutes on a bus where there ain't no air conditioning and to get to the stadium. Yes, it's a humbling experience. But when you are poised to win or you have one Olympic gold, there should be a different level of preparation for you. We mm -hmm. know that you can get the job done. There's no reason why she should not have, have been let into the warm up area to get ready for her last hundred mm -hmm. meters that we ever gonna see. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? Huh? This right here is so off and it raises an eyebrow. It really does. It does, it, 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 it's, it's not a good look, Paris. It's not a good look at all. The way y'all handled this whole thing from the opening ceremony to this point has not been good. I feel like mm -hmm. that was a shame to the fact of altering her preparation. Mm -hmm. And the legend that Mommy Rocket is, now we're going to look back at those channels on the, on the internet and see that vacant lane, lane five, and there's no Mommy Rocket there. I feel like that mm -hmm. that hurt my heart knowing that such a legend and y'all legends in your own right imagine that they call your name out to come out on the field and then you don't show up because mm -hmm. you couldn't get what you need to get done st lucia's breakout star julian alfred she got the gold while the usa took the silver and bronze julian made history it's her country's first ever olympic medal 
So that's really big for St. Lucia. <laughs>